Hello, 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 everyone. How are you? I'm trying to see where I put my stapler again. I think I still have it downstairs again. No, I know I brought it up. Just can't find it. Ah, one of those days. Okay, so we will go to plan B to attach the sign. So, say, <coughs> say hello when you come in. Let me know you're here. Okay, so we got that working. Okay, how's everyone doing? Hey, Jackie. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so can't figure out where I put my stapler again. So I guess I will use this to attach my sign. How's everyone doing tonight? Been crazy around here as usual. So, since I can't find my stapler, I rearranged again, you guys, and now I can't find anything. So, good evening, good evening, good evening. So, in order for this to cure, this is the sign we're going to use. It says, Family and friends are the true gift of Christmas. You didn't get a Rosie. I don't understand it. I'm going to have to figure out why. Did you ever, Rosie, did you ever sign up? Hey, Susie. Did you ever sign up and then stop? Because I know a lot of times if you do that, you can't re-sign up. Hey, Johnny. All right. So let me get these on here first. I'm using these um, one inch by one inch cable tie mounting bases. Hey, Johnny. Rosie, I'm going to have to look into it because I don't know why you're not, it won't go through with you. Um, so what I'm going to do is you don't want to raw eye on this holding it. So I'm going to use this um, Gorilla Glue to hold that into place. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rosie. Um, I don't understand it, Rosie. I really don't get it why you're not getting them. So I'm just going to put a little dab on there. And... Put that there. So this cures while we make the wreath. I know I brought my stapler up. I just can't find it right now. Okay. And be careful. Don't get this glue on your fingers. Yes, that's it, Rosie. I sent them at 630. If you get it through Messenger. So you should have gotten it. Um, it's through. That's exactly it, Rosie. That's the. That's it. So you are getting them. Oh, awesome, Deborah. Yeah, I got this sign from Jackie, and Jackie's on. So if you guys have any questions about the sign, um, crazy chicken lady. That's who I got it from. Hey, Sherry. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. Yes, if you guys could do that, share it with your family and friends. That really helps me out a lot. All right. So I'm going to put this to the sign. No. I send it. I usually send it out at 630, 630 Rosie. All right. So I'm going to set this to the sign and let this um, set up. Now, I know a lot of you guys are new. Hey, Kathy. So I thought I would show you, I just started this. I thought I would show you how I do my wreath base. So this is a 14 inch um, frame, a base from the Dollar Tree. And let me get this camera a little bit. And what I do is I use the first ring and the third ring, okay? And on the crossbars, I use a full one. And I put it right here. And then I just add a little dab of glue. And that's just to really hold it in place. You don't really even have to do that if you don't want to. But okay. Now this, hey Missy, I use a half a pipe cleaner. Now I use it on the third bar right that. Now the half pipe cleaners that I attach here, and this is just my preference. You can do it any way you want. Hey Peggy, um, I don't put the streamers in. 
the ribbon tails. It just makes it too crowded, I think. So that's why I don't do that. But if you like more ribbon tails, then you're more than welcome to do it. And then in between these two bars right here, I put it on the third ring right in the middle. And I just kind of center it. I eyeball it. I don't measure it or anything. Okay. And I do that on every section. And that's how I make my... Um, work forms. Like I said, you can make it any way you want. This is just how I kind of started doing it and I like it this way. So that's why I make them this way. So, so how is everyone doing tonight? Don't forget Jackie is running a special on her signs right now. Um, if you buy four, you get one of equal or lesser value. And if you spend $60 or more, you get free shipping. So make sure you take advantage of that right now. Okay, so last one here. And so I just wanted to, you know, give you guys, because I know a lot of people are new and haven't seen me do this before. But I do have a video showing you the whole thing. Hello. Well, welcome, Jessica. I'm glad you're here. I am making a Christmas wreath. My first name is Brenda. Okay, so let me get my glue gun out of the way here. <laughs> Guys, I've stuffed it everywhere, 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 everywhere. Um, for, your, for those of you who signed up to do the tomato cage snowman, there he is back there. I don't know if you can see him all. So that's what we'll be making when we do the class. I'm just waiting for everyone now to get their supplies. And then we will make that. Yes, Tichelle, I do it on the first row here, the very inner row, and then the third row. Okay? And I'm using this gorgeous mesh that I got the other day at Ed London. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to use that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, it's 21 inches, and I'm just going to gather it together. Okay, whoop, catch there. Okay, all right, I'm going to gather it together, and I'm going to put it in the um, top row here. Hey, Rosalia, how are you? Thanks, Becky. Yeah, I like this mesh. It's a premium mesh, and it's really pretty. Now, when you use a good mesh like this, you and you're doing the poof method like this, I really only use like a half a roll. So you can get two um, wreaths out of this. So I'm going to do 10-inch poofs, and I'm going to go all the way around the top. <clears throat> hey, Susie, how are you? Welcome, welcome. And again, if you guys could share this um, live, I would appreciate it. Share it to your family and friends. Oh, Janet, yeah. Um, <laughs> they're really, they don't have, their retail part is very small. Um, so, and they really, they really don't like to sell retail, um, Janet, at London. But, um they kind of let me go and roam and show you guys everything they have. So that's why there's not a whole lot there. Um, and, um, you know, they, they kind of give me free reign in place, which is awesome. <clears throat> Thanks for sharing, Lou. I am good, Susie. Had my one and a half year old grandson today all day. And tomorrow I'm going to have my four-and-a-half-year-old grandson and my two-and-a-half-year-old grandson all day. So another crazy day. But what else is new around here? <laughs> it never ends. So thank you very much for sharing. I really, really appreciate it. That, those people on lives tell you that it's like giving them a hug. Oh, okay, Janet. So did you, so you don't have a resale license. Hey, Blanche. 
you just, hey, Dreama, um, you just have, you just bought retail. Yeah. Well, they have a lot more stuff like I was showing you guys in the warehouse. Um, but they are kind enough to, like I said, to let me walk through and show everyone what they have and that kind of stuff. So again, I'm just doing, um, 10 inch poofs and I went around the top and then I'm going to go around the bottom. Okay, so I finished the top row. So now what I'm going to do is I started on a the center bar. So I'm going to bring it down to that half pipe cleaner and just um, place it in there and tie it off. Now I am going to open that one back up when I do when I go all the way around. So I'm not going to do that real tight. In fact, I want to fix that a little bit. Okay, so again, I'm just going to do 10 inch poops around the whole bottom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Kelly. So I'm just going to go on the bottom the same way I went around the top. And kind of poof them out. What has everyone been up to today? Anything fun? Okay. Kelly, I think what I'm going to do do it Lou you can do it what I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna try and do is um, make like do a tutorial once a month oh wow Susie you've been busy huh getting rid of those or uh, selling all those mesh rollers I think what I'm gonna do is um, try to get maybe a zoom class together once a month like I'm doing on this um, tomato cage snowman and um, either you guys can, um, like I will team up with Jackie for the signs. Oh, yeah, you had, you had heart surgery, right? And we can offer you the signs, and then you guys can buy the supplies and do a Zoom class. Would you guys, would you guys be interested in that? Mesh coming under from the mesh roller. Can you explain more? Um, hold, hold on, Blanche. Let me, oh, let me see what you're asking here. I noticed that you have your mesh coming under from the mesh roller. Can you explain why? Um, Blanche, I just, uh, hold on. Make sure I know what I'm. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have it rolled this way, um, and it's just I don't have it under here when I'm when I'm doing a wreath because um, I don't want it to get stuck. All right, great. Um, so I just kind of have it come. It's not really coming under. I guess it's the way it's just coming out of the roller. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Yeah. So this time we're gonna do the um, snowman. And then um, I'll get Jackie to come up with a sign. What kind of sign would you guys, hey Nikki, what kind of sign would you guys like to see that maybe we can make to put on a wreath? Do you want a Christmas one? Something like that. And we can come up with um, like a monthly Zoom call to make them. Because I think it's so much fun when I can interact with you guys. <laughs> I mean, this is interacting, but hey, Janet, how are you? 
it's funner on a Zoom call. It's more fun, funner. Funner is not really a word. Is it? More fun on a Zoom call where I can see you and you can see me and we can interact. Oh, yeah, I always have it come under Blanche. I don't know why. I don't know. I always have it come under. Isn't that funny how we do things? Like, you can do it the exact same way, but, yeah, I always have mine come under for some reason. I don't know. I always got to be different, I guess. Christmas. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Hey, Patricia. Oh, Marty Girl. Girl, I don't really do Marty Girl. I'm in Pennsylvania. People don't buy more girl up here. <laughs> oh, Peggy, have fun. That will be awesome. Right, Sydney. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of like the toilet paper roll. Some people go under, some people go under. That's a good analogy. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. <laughs> Anything fall or Christmas. Okay. This mesh is 21 inches wide. Yeah, it's a really pretty mesh. I really like it a lot. And it's got the lime green, the red, the white, the Christmas green. I always end up losing. Yeah, it is 21 inch. Yep. Um, I always end up losing the pipe cleaners in here. Okay. And I just take those half pipe cleaners and I tuck them under since I know I'm not going to be putting any um, mesh or anything like that in there. It's just a preference that I do. Um, you can do it really any way you would like to. Can you believe that next week is Halloween already? Hey, Barbara, how you doing? I can't believe it's uh, it's that crazy already. Like, where does the time go? Um, it's it's easier. If you do the poof method with the 21 inch, you can use the 10 inch to do um, the poof method, but it really doesn't come out as full and as nice. So you'd have to kind of go around um, several times. Hey, Linda, how are you? Doing well. So when I do the poof method, I always do um, the 21 inch, or I shouldn't say always, but most of the time I do the 21 inch mesh. Um, yeah, I'm taking it, I do it on the first row that, you know, where the pipe cleaners were, and then I'm doing it on the third um, row. So, Lou, on the top row, there's six, and on the bottom row, they would be 12. Because I put 12, or six pipe cleaners on the top row, and 12 pipe cleaners on the bottom row. Hi, Rose. I am doing okay, Barbara. You know, every time I think my life's going to slow down a little bit, it doesn't. Because I had, like I said, my one and a half year old grandson today. I'm going to have my four and a half and my two and a half tomorrow. And then Monday I'll have the four and a half and the two and a half year old again. Tuesday night I have all four and then is it next week next thursday through monday i have the four kids for the whole weekend it's gonna be a little crazy hey yolanda how are you yeah when you use the 21 inch mesh and this is the premium mesh so you only have to go around you know the top ones and the bottom ones Okay, now I'm just going to tuck that under. This is a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and then I'm just going to go and make sure that all my poops are spread out. Make sure my pipe cleaners are out here. 
I always lose my pipe cleaners in here. I'm going to tuck those half pipe cleaners in because I don't use them. I know, doesn't it? Well, Rosie, I'm going to try. <laughs> I am going to try because it will get a little crazy here with the four. Um, so I might pop on Thursday night and just do a quick one, but probably not. I don't know because I'm going to have all four of them and they have to get to bed and get to school the next day and so we'll see maybe a late one all right so that's what it looks like with um the one row around you can i'm sure you can get this at um craft outlet craft outlet usually has this same mesh um, the number on this mesh was XB950-01. So that's where that came from. Okay. So now, like I said, this is the sign we're going to use. Um, I do... Uh, do some winter ones, but not a lot. This is still curing, so this is going to have to wait. All right, so now you guys can help me. Yep, pick out some ribbon. So I have, yeah, they have the premium mesh. I have this ribbon, which I really, really love. Merry Christmas with the red and white dots and then I have this green and red which I'm not really loving with that so I don't think I'm going to go with that hey Patty how are you and then the three dots I don't think I like this one maybe I'll use these three on it okay let's Set this over here and cut our ribbon streamers. All right. So what I'm going to do, and you guys know I always use my mesh holder here because it works fantastic. And if you're interested in that, let me know. I have an affiliate link for there. I'm going to cut 12 of these, and I just measure it to 14 inches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, good. Oh, good, Patty. All right, so then we're just going to cut the dovetails. Hey, Karen, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. You've been pretty busy. Okay, get those cut. Sometimes the very edges don't cut when I do it that way, but that's okay. All right, so those. Hey, Annette, how are you? Welcome, Cheryl. Glad you're here. Okay, get that one out of the way, and then we'll do these. And again, I just measure them to 14 inches, fold it over, and then just count 12 of them. Um, a broken well, like your well at your house, Karen? Oh, that doesn't sound like fun. Oh, thank you, Linda. That does not sound like fun at all. And I'm just dovetailing the ends on these. Yes, the sign is from the crazy chicken lady. Yep. Okay. 
debating if I just use those two, and then I have um, I have some of this. Oh my goodness! Yeah, isn't it? I like I love it that way. What do you guys think? Just the two, and then some uh, some of the roping or the mesh tubing. Let's try that. Let's see how that looks. Oh no. That is true, Lacey. Very true. <laughs> okay, so let me cut this, put that in. So what I do is I take the two. Um, oh, welcome, Hope. Put them together, fold them in half. The mesh I bought from Ed London Wreath, but I know Craft Outlet carries it also. So you can get it at um, Craft Outlet. Okay. All right, and then I'm just going to put this in here. Oh, the red and the white. Oh yeah, I could use that too. is um, I also let me see what this looks like <laughs> thanks guys let me see I think I have some red and um, green open and see what that looks like before I open a bag oh, I don't have any green open all right, let's see what this looks like. See if we like it first. All right, let's see. Oh, thanks, Patricia. All right, I'm going to have to open the green one. Let's see what this looks like. Now, when I use the tubing, I just cut it to um, 36 inches here. So let's see if we're going to like that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. So what I do, I just fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And then put this in there. Okay, let's see what we think about that. And then just kind of spread it out a little bit. All right, and then, whoops. Oh, I think I like it with that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like it with that. And then, I think what I will do too, that sign is still wet. I have some of this little balls. Okay, so let me cut that out. Yeah, I like the I like the tubing. It just adds another texture, another layer to it. Um, you know, gives it something else. It's taking a while to dry. All right, I'm just going to cut these real quick and then um, do that. And you don't have to be real precise with this, so. But it does come all tangled. <laughs> it's so tangled so easily. I 
just have to find the end. Oh, there we go. Seven, eight. Oh, thanks. And we're getting there, we're getting there. one there and done okay so get that out of the way all right so we're going to take again we're just going to take one of the two and a half one of the one and a half yep and I'm going to fold these in half and I'm going to put one of these in each of the pipe cleaners so there's six on the top you hope. Okay, I'm going to do that. All right, and then I will go back with a red and a green. Oh, I know. Ribbon is the hardest thing to pick out. Um, but you just kind of got to go with your gut. And then I'm just going to take this and put it in here. And just tie it off real good. All right, and then just kind of spread these out a little bit. And I may put some of those Christmas balls in here too. I haven't decided yet. So again, you're just going to take your two pieces and fold them in half and crease them and put them in your pipe cleaner. And then just spread them out where you want them. Yeah, I really like the um, the mesh tubing. I like it a lot. I like to use it a lot, but I have used um, 18 pipe cleaners, but I only put the ribbon in 12 of them. Um, I put put the ribbons in six on the top and six on the bottom. The tubing you can get from Craft Outlet, um, you can get it from the Dollar Tree, um, and it just adds a little, hey Berlene, how are you? It just adds another layer, another texture. Oh, Jackie, yeah, Jackie is running a special, she has four signs, um, if you buy four signs you get one of equal or lesser value. And if you buy $60 worth, you get free shipping. You get yours from Joann's? Yeah, you can get it anywhere. Um, like I said, the Dollar Tree, a lot of the craft stores have it. Um, you know, a lot of that. But I think the Dollar Tree is just, yeah, right, Linda. You can get it from any of those places. But the Dollar Tree is, I mean, it's just as good. And it's a lot cheaper. Oh, sure, Bon. No problem. Sorry about that. All right, so the ribbon I'm just taking, putting the one and a half on top of the two and a half, folding it in half, gathering it together. Okay. Putting the, in each of the pipe cleaners. Okay, and then separating them out here. Yeah, Dollar Tree, yep. All right, so all I do with the um, tubing is I take the pieces that I cut 36 inches, and all I do is I just fold it in half so it looks like that. Okay, then I take that and I fold that in half. That's it. And then I just take it 
and I put it in the pipe cleaner right on top. I don't undo the pipe cleaner. And you just want to make sure that's nice and tight. And then just spread them out. Okay. And you're just going to do that the whole way around. I think I have one more on top to do. The poofs were, hey Casey, welcome. I can use the ribbon tails more than both. I do, I do, Dana. I don't know why. I just kind of like the look of it. I do add bows sometimes, but I really do just do the streamers a lot. Okay, and again, you're just gonna grab one piece of the green, one piece of the red, and I cut them to 36 inches. Just fold it in half so it makes a loop like that. And then just fold it in half again. That's all you do. Quick and easy. Okay, so that's it. And that's just the top done. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing around the bottom. Let me get you Jackie's page. Oh, okay, here we go. That is um, Jackie's page. Crazy chicken lady for the sign. <clears throat> Oh, hey, Tab. Welcome. Oh, no problem. Welcome. Just glad you're here. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thanks, Deborah. Okay. All right. So, again, we're just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to take it. Hey, Anna, how are you? Take it. Fold it in half. And it doesn't have to be even, even. It's just kind of adds another texture. The ribbons are 14 inches. And also we're going to do, I'm going to add some of these little balls too. So I'm going to come back with these in a second. All right. Hey Rose. All right, so. Again, my ribbon tails are just cut to um, 14 inches. I just take them, fold them in half, gather them in the middle, kind of get them so they're gonna curl on you and put them in the pipe cleaners. Um, Tina, no, I add 12 pipe cleaners on the bottom, but I only use six for the, um, the ribbon. I don't put the ribbon in all 12 of them. It's just a preference that I have, just kind of how I started doing it. And um, I just like it. I don't think it crowds the um, wreath as much. But like I said, that's just a personal preference because if I would use all 12, you see this space right here in between these two sets of bows, there would be another um, set of streamers in there. And I just think it, for me, it just crowds the, um, the wreath with a lot of ribbon. And I think you can't, you overlap so much then you can't really see it. So that's just a personal preference. You just kind of have to Kind of get your own preference and what you like to do, um, how you like your wreaths to look. Oh, thank you, Karen. Um, Dawn, I'd have to figure it all out. I don't always know the price when I'm making it until I get done and know everything I put into it because sometimes... 
I use more than I think I'm going to use, or I don't use something I think I'm going to use, but, um, you know, it's just kind of, um, when I get done, you know, I can tell exactly what I put into it. Okay. The mesh, um, the mesh tubing, Casey, um, the mesh tubing I cut to 36 inches. Now, I have 18 pipe cleaners on the wreath, but I only use 12 um, in, um, for the streamers. <laughs> oh, Deborah, it comes with practice. <laughs> it comes with a lot of practice. Don't forget, please share this with your friends and family. I would appreciate it very much. Okay, it looks like we have two more to go here. Um, the base is poof. It's 10 inch poofs. Oh, there's the other red one. Oh, it's like, it looks like I, oh, no problem, Joanne. Thank you for blessing me. I really appreciate you guys sharing this. Oh, no. Sydney, don't fall. I don't want to see you get hurt. Oh, thank you, Casey. So we're on the last one here on the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is, I have my glue gun on, right? Yeah, okay. Last one. All right. So again, we just fold it in half and in half again. And then what I think I'm going to do is I have these little styrofoam balls. You guys have seen me use these on um, my ribbon flowers. Oh, good, Sydney. <laughs> Glad it wasn't you. Um, the ribbon flowers. So what I'm going to do now is, and this is just adding another little oomph to your wreath. I'm going to take some of these balls. And I'm going to cut these pipe cleaners, um, not real short, but I'm going to cut them off like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take different colored balls and I, here it is, take my ice pick and I just put a little hole in it. And then I take the glue and I put it right in there and I put it right on the pipe cleaner and it kind of gives it just a little more texture I'm not really going to worry about the colors because I think all these colors will go and I'm just going to add one to both ends of the pipe cleaner okay, isn't that cute and it just adds another little texture to your wreath so again, I'm just going to tighten up these ties and I'm going to cut them off a little bit and separate them. And then I will put a little hole in them. And these are different colored balls too. So um, are all what tied on? Julie, I'm not sure what you're asking. And then just glue it on right there. Hold one. Yeah, it just adds another layer, adds another little um, 
decoration to your wreath instead of the Christmas balls. Don't burn yourself like I just did. <laughs> and like I said, I'm really not going to worry about um, the colors and if they all match and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I need to get put cleaners down here. Again, you're going to, I know, right, Sydney? People don't get it. <laughs> they really don't understand it. Okay. And just a little dab of glue. You don't need much, just enough to make sure, you know, it's going to grip on there good. And then, red one, try a green one. Thank you. Now, like I said, you can use um, Christmas ornaments if you want. You can really use anything. And like I said, I'm not worrying about the size difference either on these balls. Oops, there's my balls. I think I might even add a black one in here. I'm just kind of putting them as, um, yep, you can do that too. Yep, you can add the hooks. Yeah, just be careful you don't burn yourself because, oh, I've done that many, many times with this glue. Many, many times, and it is no fun. Oh, that's no fun, Debbie. Ouch. Like that. Yep. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. Can't tell you how many times I've done that. Okay, again, I just want to make sure those twist ties are on there good so the ribbon streamers don't come off. Separate them out. Oh, thank you, Sydney. Hey, Dee, how are you? Just add them on there. white one here. A little white one. Yeah, just like I said, it just adds another dimension to your wreath and, um, you know, just something different. I don't like to use the same stuff all the time. <laughs> I'm just funny that way. Try to mix it up. There's a black one here. Oh, thanks, Lou. I try. Sometimes, you know, I have to say, sometimes when I'm picking stuff out, it's really easy. And other times, boy, I just struggle with it. But... All right, so that's the top done with the little balls. You see it in there? And then I'm going to go through and do the same thing on the bottom row. Silver. And, and these, are just, these are just little styrofoam balls. They're called bowl fillers. Um, different places call them different things. I get them at AC Moore or um, Hobby Lobby. Michael sells them, I think. So, um, really, you can get them anywhere. But it just adds, like I said, another dimension, another texture. I don't want to burn myself, so... And I put that little hole in them with the um with the vice pick so that um you know they sink down a little bit let's do a black one 
Um, I have been making wreaths about two and a half years. Oops, I forgot to cut that one off. And I just love it. I really do. It's just a lot of fun. It's a stress reliever for me. It takes my cares of the world away. You know, like that commercial, Calgon, take me away. <laughs> Um, no, I got these at AC Moore, which is a local craft store. I know they're in the Northeast, but I don't know. Um, I know Virginia has them. Oh, I did it again. Um, but you can order them online. I'm sure you can. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Well, I'm glad you're here. We're making Christmas wreath. We're just about done. Well, we're getting there, I should say. Over. Like I said, I'm not, um, I know, right, Tab? It's so easy to do. It, you just kind of, I don't know, I just love it. Just melt everything away. Pick this up so I don't burn myself. Let's get a red one. And you could even add more of these if you wanted to, but yeah, um, it's like a, it's a local craft store. I like I said, I know they have some in Virginia, um, but I don't know if they're they're not in all of the states. So, but it's like a Michaels. But I know you can order these balls. Um, I know, like I said, Hobby Lobby has them. I think, you know, I've seen them at Michael's, but I'm sure you could get them off of Amazon. Amazon sells everything. Some of them are called bowl fillers. You know, some of them just call them, you know, let's use black again. I like the black. Oh, boy, Debbie, that would be awesome to have a building like that. Oh, really, Jerry Lynn? But you know what, Jerry Lynn, we are our own worst critic, okay? Because, you know, sometimes you just get down on yourself and you're like, I don't like anything I do. Um, but you just have to learn that you're enough, you know, that um, it's okay. It'll be fine. Green ones. I'm trying to find the green ones in here. They're hiding. Oh, were you? Did you find them? Hopefully you found them, but I'm pretty sure they have them on Amazon. Yeah, some people call them jolt, uh, jar fillers. Some people call them bowl fillers. Some people just call them styrofoam balls. I don't know. <laughs> well, this room isn't it. Oh! Whoops, that one just glued to my carpet. Oh, boy. Sorry about that. I need to get that before it glued to my carpet. Any TMI gifts? I know, right? You never have enough. When you make wreaths or any other um, any other craft, you kind of you accumulate a lot of stuff. Oh, Betsy Shell. Hey, Penny, how are you? Um, yeah, I um, like I said, I got these, but I know I've seen them at Michael's. I know I've seen them at that Hobby Lobby and Joanne's. So I just got to kind of keep checking around. And, All right, and we are finished with these. Okay. 
that is it for those. All right, so that's done. All right, so that's what it looks like with the balls and the ribbon tails and that kind of stuff. All right, now glue on my table. I'm going to add the sign. All right, so earlier I showed you guys the sign. Family and friends are the true, whoops, true gifts of Christmas. And then I just added these um, cable mount bases to it. And now this is one way you can do a sign. Um, you can put staples on it, which I was going to do, but I can't find my stapler. I don't know. And then you're just going to run this through here. The cable mount you can get from um, any of, now this still, the sign still is not set. That's weird. Um, you can get from Lowe's, Home Depot. You can order them from Amazon. So you can get these pretty much anywhere. I don't know why that's taking so long to set. I'm going to hit it with a little hot glue just in case. Usually these set pretty quick by the time I'm done. But just in case, I'm just going to run a bead of hot glue around there. You don't want your signs to come off. No problem, Colleen. Yeah, they're just, um, it's called one inch by one inch cable time mounts. So you can get them pretty much anywhere. I'm going to kind of let that glue set up a second. You guys have any questions I can answer while I'm waiting for this to set up a little bit? <laughs> okay. All righty. So now we're just going to take our sign. And we're going to find a spot where we think we want it. Beat it right through the middle. And I'm going to take it and tie it on one of those crossbars. And when you have a circular sign, or any sign really, you want to try and mount it so that it... Um, isn't going to slide around on you. Um, I figure out all of the supplies that I have in my wreath. Okay, that. Get that in there. You know, I add everything up. Best tip for a two-day craft show. Whew, that's a tough one. Um, make sure that you have um, plenty of wreaths, number one. I normally take, um, even to like a one-day craft show, I'll take usually between 40 and 50 wreaths with me. Um, you want to have custom order forms with you. So if you sell a wreath or something and someone wants another one, you can make it that you have that available. Make sure that you have um, extra batteries for your cell phone and that kind of stuff because you don't want to run out of batteries, um, you know, to take payments. 
also want to make sure you have plenty of snacks and stuff like that. Um, I try to make sure you have your change all ready to go. Make sure, you know, your, your change is, you have enough to last you to two days because a lot of times, you know, you're not going to have a chance to run out and get change again. The ribbon tails are um, 14 inches. Okay. So you kind of want to, you know, be prepared as much as you can, which it's not always easy to do because you just never go. You just never know how the show is going to go. You can sell no wreaths like I did the other day. Or you can show a 14 or 15 wreaths like I did last year at that show. It's just, there's no telling. And I think it depends to um, how many wreath, other wreath vendors there are, that kind of thing. So it's just, it's really hard to figure that stuff out. So then I'm just going through making sure I um, get my little balls out here, fix my streamers. But yeah, you want to make sure that you're going to have everything you need for the two days. So, um, like I said, charge your batteries. Make sure you've got that all ready to go. Oh, you're welcome, Donna. Kind of like I said, I'm just pulling everything out, making sure it's where I want it. Hey, Judy, how are you? Okay, just about done here. And see, everything just adds another layer with the ribbon and the, the mesh tubing and then those little styrofoam balls. So just adds another dimension to it. All right, that is it for me for tonight, I think. If you guys have any questions before I head on out, and if you're interested in this wreath, just send me a message and I will send you the pricing once I figure it out and you guys have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend if I don't see you before thanks for watching and don't forget to share have a good one thanks bye guys